Hello and welcome to Skyblock 1, a modernization of the original Sky Factory for Minecraft 1.6.4. We have high-tech mods, automation, and a bunch of other stuff. And okay, I, I can I can I can climb. Wait. Oh. Oh wow. Wait. Yep. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So I can Yeah. So you jump, yep, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. But anyways, like I said, welcome to Skyblock 1. We are... Oh, okay, I keep doing it now. Okay, calm down. We are here with a single tree that I am currently punching, which I gotta be really careful of not falling down to my doom. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a quick crafting table, and I'm gonna go ahead and make some slabs. That way I can kind of expand the island just a little bit so we have some space to walk on. There we go. That's much better. Now I have actually looked into this mod pack a little bit, so I kind of know what to do at least to begin with. And I know you can make these crooks, which you can then use on the leaves to get a higher chance of getting stuff like saplings, which we're gonna plant down right there. We can also get silkworms and apples, which we will need for food at the beginning. I don't know if there's another food source, so definitely gotta save the apples if we get them. And then to make a tree grow, we gotta do the good old out, 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 yeah, yeah, tree, tree grow. And we do have ex excavation as well, so if I press down this, oh, I guess I need a tool to do it. So now that I have an axe, and if I break this, and then break this, it should break all the logs that are here. Cool. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and make even more slabs to expand the platform even more. Just like so, and now I should be able to excavate all the leaves, and none of it will drop into the void. Sweet. Okay, a little bit of a smaller tree this time. That's fine. Now what we can actually do, I'm not gonna take the leaves off of this just yet. We can infest it with silkworms. And that is going to give us these, in a moment anyway, these white leaves, which will then be able to give us string. There's also a thing I'm gonna make here, which is the barrel, which, ah, there they are. So we can take all of these now and boom, we now have string. That should be plenty of string. But with this oak barrel right here, we can place this down and we can actually put in organic stuff. So things like silkworms <laughs> and saplings. There we go. And we should be able to, just in a moment, when that finishes, we should be able to get a dirt block. Give me that dirt block. Sweet. And I can plant that. Uh, do I wanna, I wanna go out one more here and place it down, just like so. And now we can plant down yet another sapling. By the way, if you're wondering how I know all this, um, I may have been reading this book just a little bit where, where in the category of where do I get started. Um, so yeah, if you're installing this bot pack, this book right here, this task book is very, very good. Speaking of which, I do not want to lose said book, so I'm gonna make a quick chest for some of the stuff and uh, I should have maybe made it five blocks in between, oh well. That's fine, I'm gonna place a torch right there and hope that I don't need it for anything. For now, I think I'm just gonna keep expanding the island because, yeah, we need, the, we need the space to be able to move around. These trees are growing faster than I can expand. There we go, sweet. And using the crook and excavating the leaves makes this job much quicker. Oh, it's broken. How do I repair it? Can I repair it? How do I repair it? I don't know if I can repair it, but I'm just gonna throw that in the void because I can just make a new one, which is gonna be a lot simpler. I use some of this wool to make ourselves a bed. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna start expanding our platform here a little bit in this direction. For now, the bed will be right there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit dangerous, but I'm, I'm sure it's it's fine. It's at wow. Okay, these like I said, these trees grow. They grow. They they grow quick. <laughs> and another dirt block. We can also make these sieves right here. Well, that's a jungle sieve, but we can make a normal sieve out of the oak blocks. And we should be able to use the sieve to be able to get other blocks. I don't know if we put in like dirt. Uh, what? 
Eh, hmm, right here. So sieves, if we put in sand, for example, we could get some stuff there. So we could put in different stuff. Looks like we can put in normal dirt. Okay. Ah, we need the string mesh, of course. So if I make the string mesh right here and put this here, and I should be able to put that there. So it's right now sifting the dirt. And I don't know what to expect after that. Oh! Oh, it says there's a progress right there. Progress zero. Okay, sweet. Oh yeah, I also converted all these leaves into string. <laughs> I don't know if we will need that much string, but you know what? We have string for days now. Now that we're actually starting to speed things up a bit, I'm actually going to go ahead and make two more barrels. Going to remove the bed and place it in between the trees. And I'm going to make a total of four barrels here if I take this one and move it. Right there, I will be able to start filling these a lot quicker. Just like so, and we can get even more dirt. Now this still says progress zero, so I'm imagining that I'm doing something wrong. Alright, the sieve is still saying zero percent. So I am imagining that I'm doing something completely wrong. I just don't know what. Oh, okay. I have to right click on top of the dirt right there. Okay, what did I just get? Stone pebble, black stone pebble, basalt pebble, and granite pebble, and sweet berry seeds, and carrot seeds. So if I place down another dirt and right click it on the top there. Ooh, okay. This is definitely something to use the dirt for. And the other one as well. Alright, so I should be able to use the stone pebbles to now get cobblestone. And we just got Stone Age. All right, very cool. I'm gonna make a separate chest just for pebbles because it looks like we're gonna be getting a lot of those. Now that we know how the sieve works, we can actually go ahead and make a hammer, which we can use on the cobblestone to get... Uh, wait, how did we... Uh, ah, right. We can use the hammer to hammer the cobblestone. Uh, I don't know if we do it in the inventory or I assume in the real world. Just like so, and we got gravel. And I think we can sieve the gravel. Or is it, yeah. And then tin ore piece. Ooh. And we can combine those to get the tin ore chunks. Okay, we need some production stuff going on here. We gotta expand big time. Right, this dirt gotta go. Like that. I wanna make the crafting station, which I kind of forgot how to make. Ah, pattern. Okay, I can certainly do that. This is my most. This is my favorite crafting table right here. This from Tinker's Construct. This is my absolute favorite, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's just so good because I can just leave stuff in there. Okay, I'm gonna expand this island or this platform in general because I want to. I want to expand. I go, went ahead and made another sieve, or sieve, sieve, right? Sieve. I think it's a sieve. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I probably am. Now I'm happy that I got all that string because this will be very useful. But most importantly, I will need a good way of getting a lot of wood. And this is not it. I need a much bigger tree farm than this. So I think I'm actually going to take this dirt. I'm gonna go ahead and expand the tree farm in this way, I think. And I'm only going to leave three spaces in between each dirt because this is going to be done as efficient as I possibly can. Just like so. I'm gonna go three blocks in this direction. I'm gonna fill all this in. And there we go, the tree farm has now been expanded by a lot. The weird thing is, the thing I'm probably gonna get the most out of this is, well, the leaves. Because I need all the leaves that I can get, and the worms as well, in order to get even more dirt. All the silk worms, all the stuff. Now I wonder if, do we have... We do have wooden hopper. Question is if you can use a, hold on. Question is if you can use a hopper to put stuff into these barrels. If I do something like this, with a chest on top, whoop, <laughs> with a chest on top. Oh, that's so much faster. 
that is so much faster and I assume that we can use then a hopper to also take stuff out from oh that's amazing hold up we okay we may not need all of these hold the phone because then I can just go ahead and oh, give me one apple at least take that and it just takes everything it needs Okay, we also need some light over here soon. So to avoid any catastrophics, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. Is that even a word? That's probably not even a word. Right. I don't... We can't do it here because we actually need to use our hands to be able to do whatever we need to do. Um, right. I'm gonna dismantle this real quick. Right. So I'm gonna make another hopper. Another wooden hopper. I'm gonna make another chest. So if I put a chest here, wooden hopper, oak barrel... Wooden hopper, and on top of that, eh. Oh, almost. Almost got the hang of this climbing thing. So if I then. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, I did. I almost <laughs> did a huge, huge mistake. We still have leaves up there, which is good, but I almost just basically made us run out of saplings, which would be extremely, extremely bad. But we still have this tree up here, so that should be at least one. Good. And now I have more saplings. Perfect. And just for that, I'm gonna always make sure I have like 10 or something saplings in here. But what I really want to test now is if this hopper will be able to take out the dirt from this oak barrel. If not, it's fine, but it would be really awesome if it's doable that way. I know I can make a stone uh, crook most likely, but I'm not going to bother with it because I'm going to use them so much that it's just going to break and we need the stone for other more important stuff at the moment. All right, so that's the test. I now have a stack of saplings. I'm going to keep the apples, also the silkworm. This is going to convert into dirt and I really hope this system works right here. It does. We have just automated dirt making. Awesome. <laughs> I wonder if I could put the hopper on the side or if it has to be on the top. Hmm. Oh well, either way, this works very, very well. I am gonna go ahead and extend this platform all the way down here because that's just gonna make it a lot easier to work on stuff. And right, I'm gonna place one sieve here. I don't think I'll be needing the other ones at this point in time. Now what I gotta do really is just keep well, chopping down trees, placing new ones, get the saplings, and keep making dirt. Wood. More wood. The only thing I don't like about this is the big trees that get generated up there. Which I cannot really reach, and I'm not really interested in having to pillar up and whatnot. But now I'm gonna take this dirt, and I'm gonna use the sieve. It is a sieve, right? I think it's a sieve. And we're getting a lot of stuff from this. I want to definitely start using these seeds. Dark oak seed. Hold up. Dark oak seed. Wait, can we grow? Hmm. Hold on a minute. <gasps> Dark oak sapling. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just gonna stand here, sieve through these ten uh, dirt right here, and hope that we get more of those because getting that wood would be really, really beneficial. I also just got an oak seed and a birch seed as well. I also got grass, potato, and pumpkin, and we also have a lot of these stone pebbles, stone loose stuff. <laughs> oh wait. And now we have 15 cobblestone. That's awesome. It doesn't look like the string mesh get, is getting used. So I guess I don't really need those seven extra that I made. What are these? Silkworms. Right. Well, I'm going to keep doing this for a little while. Uh, I'm going to keep planting trees, getting more dirt, converting the dirt through the sieve into pebbles and whatnot. And I will be back when we actually have a lot of more of that. One thing, though. Hold on, one thing we can do is, is we can go ahead and take this birch seed, hoe this, now we have a birch sapling, and if I remove this tree, I'll be happy when I can upgrade to, so and there we go, birch tree, right there. 
And I should be able to get use this to get... Yep, a lot more birch saplings. Which I think will be better because these oak trees are starting to annoy me making these huge canopies. But I'm gonna save 10 of these saplings just so we never lose them. And now we have the option of using birch wood. I'm also gonna go ahead and make this a double chest because starting to run out of space. Anyways, like I said, I will keep grinding. I will keep planting trees and getting leaves and getting more dirt and sewing it through. So we can have a bunch of stone and see what happens then. I'll be right back. All right, I have done a ton of work. I have gathered a lot of trees and I have converted a lot of stuff into dirt, which you can see right here. As you can see, we now have a lot more pebbles and we have actually a lot of seeds here. We have the dark oak seeds, we have more birch seeds as well, and I believe, yep, yeah, we even have oak seeds right here. We also have some spruce seeds as well, wheat and stuff like that, which is really cool. We could actually start a farm now, which I think will have to be the second objective. But I have done a little bit more research and we could actually do some really cool stuff. So over here we have the oak uh, crucible right here, which is, wait, does, does it require? No, it's just any wooden slab. Oh yeah, we also have a lot more wood now. Uh, but if I take six of these, and the slab is right there already, perfect. Then we can make an oak crucible, which for the crucible, I believe if we take some organic material, such as leaves or worms, I believe we can put that in here fill it all the way up and it will slowly convert into water. So we should be able to maybe get a bucket of water from this eventually. Speaking of bucket, it doesn't seem like we can make any other buckets other than from iron, which is unfortunate, but we will get to that. But as you can see, it is slowly converting down into water. But the point of making this is because what we can also do, I have figured out, is we can get clay if we have fluid if we have water in any of these barrels here and combine it with dust. So if we take dust and put it with water, we get clay. Now the way we get uh, dust is with hammering sand and we get sand from hammering gravel and we get gravel from hammering cobblestone. And there we have almost a full crucible of water. I am just confused on how I can actually transport the water because it doesn't seem like I can make a bucket without Iron. So our main objective right now is to get dust. Now what I should be able to do is take, for example, these stone pebbles. And I did that wrong again. There we go. And then if I take this cobblestone, and then I can break it using the hammer, and I can get, well, gravel. So if I just make a huge pillar here, let's say that much, and then hammer that down to gravel, can I save sand? I'm assuming I'm not going to get, yeah, I'm not going to get anything out of that, but if I hammer down sand, we should now get dust. Now my question is, and I can put the dust in there, and I think, and there we go, we have clay. Awesome, so if I, right, I'm gonna convert more of this gravel into sand. All right, bone meal. The next thing I need now is bone meal. And if we sift down dust, we are actually having a chance of getting bone meal, as well as glowstone, redstone, gunpowder, Gold ore, tin ore, lead, silver, iron as well, blaze powder. So dust is really the next huge thing that we want in order to progress because then we can start getting some really cool stuff. But the reason why I'm making this clay is because what we can use it for is making porcelain clay, which we can then use to make an on-fire crucible. And this on-fire crucible we can use to actually get Lava. So I'm gonna convert all of this into dust and I'm gonna sieve it. And there we go, we got redstone as well as blaze powder. Doesn't look like we got anything from that one, but I think we just got some iron ore right there. And another. And we just got bone meal from that one right there, which is exactly what we want. We do need quite a lot of this bone meal though. There we go, we just got another copper ore. So in order to make this on fire crucible, which we can then turn into a fire crucible, which we can then use to make lava as well as water, we need in total seven bone meal as well as seven clay bowls. Now the clay, as you just saw, is easy to get because water is easy as well as the dust. But the difficult part is actually going to be getting the, um, the bone meal from the dust. So I'm going to have to go ahead 
and break down a lot of cobblestone and a lot of gravel and a lot of sand in order to get that. But I think I'm going to call this video right here. So guys, let me know down below in the comments if you want to see an episode 2. I'm actually really, really enjoying playing with this mod pack, so I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like. And comment down below if you want to again see an episode 2, because I would love to continue this, as I'm having a lot of fun with this. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If we go ahead and make an episode two, we will be making this crucible right here. We will be making a furnace. We will be starting to spell down some of these ores, which in fact, I think are gonna have a home right in here together with all the pebbles. And yeah, we can start spelling down this stuff and start moving on to more advanced things. But yeah, that's gonna be it. I really hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in potentially the next one. Who knows? Have a wonderful day and goodbye.